All right, I'm working with Dr. Stifler's uh, SEC 18 board right here, and I'm trying to replicate an experiment by Polingo over at uh, the Interjake Forum. I guess that's how he pronounces his, uh, his name. And what it does, it uses one battery and uses an earth ground, which is attached right here, and runs through some LEDs backwards through the circuit. And this is how he had it set up right there. And normally the plus would come into the positive rail there, and he only has one connection at the negative rail. Then he runs the current backwards through the coil and back through the circuit, and it cycles around different ways and stuff like that, and it does run. Now I changed mine a little bit, and uh, I have a tunable capacitor on my board right here, and I went into an AV plug and then an earth ground. And I didn't have to have these diodes up here at all, like he had there. I can eliminate those and I get it to oscillate. And there it is oscillating. And uh, I ran this for about five hours today. And it really didn't go down probably two, two hundredths of a volt, maybe. Um, it's hard to say because the batteries have to be charged and discharge tested to see exactly what's going on. But I do have a capacitor hooked up here to show you this will run for a couple of seconds on what's in the capacitor, but this doesn't mean anything. It just shows the thing does run on the energy. Now, this is oscillating right now, and uh, I'm going to disconnect the battery right here, and you're going to see this slow down and stop. I'll, I'll count it down. Let's see my hand in here. I'll disconnect this. One, two, three, about three seconds or so, and that stopped oscillating. Now, these LEDs right there are still on, but the capacitor is draining down, and that's just using energy out of the capacitor. It was that oscillation for about three seconds that I was interested in, and um, I find that rather interesting. I'm going to restart this here. And it's a little hard to start. It's almost like a kick start to get it to go. It takes a few times to get those those things to fire up. There it goes. And then I'll reconnect with the capacitor. And there goes the voltage back up on the on the unit right there. And just like uh, Polingo was showing, you can tune this with these little uh, variable capacitors and get that standing voltage uh, that's being shown at the battery to change. Watch this go in and out of resonance. See that drop down? I'm changing that capacitor and it's going in and out of resonance. I'll try to get this back up to where it's supposed to be. About like that. There's my meter. Tune this again here. They're tricky to tune. One of the things Dr. Stifler has always told us about these things is the tuning was everything. You get this out of resonance, and um, it's real, uh, really tricky to get it back. And I'm working with two different variable capacitors here. And, of course, my body, too, has something to do with it. There we go. That's where I want it, right about there, 12.7, 12.71. And I ran this for hours and hours and hours, and, and uh, it does seem to do what he's saying. So I just wanted to add my two cents to this. As you take a standard you know, SEC-18, uh, mine happens to be the uh, X model. It has the extra tunable capacitor. And you run it backwards. You don't connect anything to the positive at all. And the positive leads just left open. And this is the circuit that I'm using right here on this. And um, you can follow along from that. There's a these uh, uh, switching diodes here, and then LEDs, two LEDs on my circuit, another switching diode, and the standard AV plug here to one LED. And uh, Polingo is using a couple of switching diodes right in here. And then he's using three LEDs. And depending on which LEDs, you have to adjust that. 
so that this has the right amount of impedance and matching and everything else that it takes to get this to oscillate. But I wanted to see if I could get this to oscillate, and it does, running backwards. Thanks for watching.